and welcome back to Deliverance Kingdom Come. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Last time we were saved by Teresa and some random men. Today we go talk with hey, youngster. Come the, her Come uncle. Up. Where even is he? We don't care at this moment. Where is he? I just heard him. There you are. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill, the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool could do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Sure, why not? What would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honorable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples. Or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Tell me more. I'm prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate, what's it, Kohelnitz Miller had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse? Take a ring from it and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz. There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? Yeah, sure, why not? I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch mm. your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. May the Lord watch over you. Thank you. I remember, right? Yay, what's up? So let's go put our stuff back on because... So much stuff you can use. All right. Uh, don't you star. Oh well, I wouldn't mind a bite to eat, actually. Wait, I'm hungry. How'd the miller get over there? All right, eat from pot. Cause free food is free. 
All right, we'll take a bread roll and we'll move on. The problem is, all right, so, I gotta remember how to do this, okay. Man, this is kinda hard to do, like, it's so unconventional. Game? Game. <laughs> okay, be right back. Let's try this again. Alright, we need a shovel. Do I... S okay, we just went over that. The game's not glitching anymore. Shovel. Let's be honest. They said shovel. I'm going to do the good thief first because we gotta be a good man and pay our debts. You know, that's important. And I'm curious to see if I can. I'm gonna try something that I shouldn't, so I'm gonna do it anyway. Alright. So. Welcome to Bohemia. By the way, you cannot swim. What a surprise, right? So the executioner's house is up here. Well, there's two things we can do things. I'm gonna see if this will wait. I don't have lock picks. You know what? New plan. Let's go see Sir Radstick. <laughs> because I don't have anything to do. I can't do this mission yet. Or at least the way I want to do it. I mean, we're all three somehow. I don't understand how we made it that far. Oh, lady. Bye, dude. Well, we can't fast travel just yet, but thanks, game. In hardcore mode, you cannot fast travel, and that's just kind of sad. That was weird. The stars of the compass, or that little explosion symbol or quest you can do. Is that who I think it is? That's our favorite drunk. See you survived. Aren't you observant? You still owe me. You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father, and he's dead. So get out of here. Oh no no no. Realize I could kill you without a moment's thought. Anytime I want to, you coward. <laughs> really? Then go ahead. Show me. All right. Uh I don't like this guy anyway, so... Oh, come on. Ooh, nice. Okay, you're cheating. Hey. Okay, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Well... Bollocks! Okay, you're really starting.
trying to get on my nerves now. Why don't you do it like fight me? Kurva. Back up for a second. Stamina regen. Go ahead. Why don't you fight me? Like, there we go. Oh, I thought I was going to start chaining him. Dang it. Oh, the fact the guard is watching his fight. Dang it. Oh, God. That's what I'm trying to do to him is that need a face. There it goes. Because if you can do it right, you can instantly finish somebody off in hand to hand with me to face. Oh, dang it. Oh. Well, that method doesn't do anything. Here. That's fun. I'm gonna chain you. Maybe not. I may actually just finish my normal one. Ah, I yield. Enough. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. About that money you owe me. Fine. I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got! But maybe I could... Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, that is. Talk, right, and I have a choice then. Start talking. No. First I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. Very well. Very well then. Talk. When we were running from Scalettes, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. By the way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dove cut. Under a dove cut? And that's it? That's all I know. How many dove cuts could there be in Scalix? If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. Fine. We'll see. Well, I'm going to pass on that for now. Hi, oh, Mr. Trader. Good day to you. I want to sell some stuff. Um, I wish there was a way. Oh, that's right. Healing only comes from certain things. So you gotta keep that in mind. Alright, I need some money, so give me money. Can we do something about I Can we make it nineteen? Since it's you. Close. Drop the price a bit more and we'll shape on it. Agree? That sounds pretty interesting. Oh, come on. Less, I'll be I don't have a choice because I have to take set 18 here. Or I get nothing. Very well. I agree. Which reputation's good. To regain foot health, potions are your best bet. 
So you can tell there's something that will give you health, but Oh, I'm free, that's right. You gotta hold Eddie. Oh, yeah. And most alcohol and most things will just heal you like that. Wait, Red Six this way. And there's a reason why I do want to heal up a little bit because I'm going to need it. beside it. Radate is pretty confusing for the first little time, few times you're here. Ah! Vegetable yeah, Radate's down here. I just want to do it. Okay, we're fine. I'm broke too. Go get a job. Let's start hustling. Like I'm doing. I guess. Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the Knights Hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Yep. Very hard. Not this one. Up a level, we'll try that. Perkstein. Stin? Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness, this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush. But I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. The Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Rate, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Perkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanush. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But 
Thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. And who? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others, listen to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, well, she was remarkable too. Mm. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Oh, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still. It's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first, if there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. A sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him, and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye woman had to save his fat from the fire and now he wants revenge what kind of fool are you boy he's no fool henry you have courage but you need training arms a horse or do you mean to beat this thief at dice no sir please take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things the gall of him fled from the enemy disobeyed your orders dupe sir divish lost your sword put sir robard in danger with his actions and now he wants a promotion Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. <laughs> he isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? Sir, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm, that's true. 
Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And He's on don't him. spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Oh boy, what has Henry gotten himself into? Oh god, we're not doing a tournament now. Train hard, fight easy. If I remember right, actually, I have a point to spend. I do have a strength point. Let's see what we got. We can do Grave Digger, Clench Master, and Mule. Well, we're going to do Clench Master because hand to hand is the basis of all combat. And only a fool will trust his life with a weapon. There are some games that, no matter how many times, how many long I've played them, I can still quote them. Everything for the house. And but, next time on Kingdom Come Deliverance, we're gonna become a soldier. Maybe we can fight finally. I'll see you then. Ah! Why am I stuck? 